Hello, Mr. Bruder here. Today we're going to look at partial quotients division. Partial quotients division is the division algorithm that is taught in the everyday math curriculum. Often one of the most difficult for parents and students because it's not based on the same traditional division algorithm that many adults learned in their schooling. Let's take a look at a problem here. Let's take a look at 786 divided by 5. Using the partial quotients algorithm, we're going to capitalize on a student's strength, their multiplication skills. Here's how we set up the problem. We're going to go ahead and write 786. Okay. And we're going to say that we're going to divide it by 5. We have our dividend and our divisor. Our dividend and our divisor. Now, here's where things get a little bit different from the traditional method. We're going to draw a line down the right side. Okay. What this is going to do is going to separate the amount of groups that we've taken out and the number of items that we still need to take out. First thing we're going to do is we're going to think about what problems we know. Well, let's think about multiplication. We know that 5 times 1 equals 5. That's easy enough for us. Because of our tens rule, we know that 5 times 10 equals 50. We know that 5 times 100 equals 500. These are all pretty basic skills that we have mastered in the fourth grade. Looking at our number of 786 that we want to get into here, we know that we want to find out how many times 5 goes into 786. Well, using our multiplication skills, we know that 5 goes into 786 at least 100 times. So there's our first step. Let's take out 100 groups of 5. 100 groups of 5, or 100 times 5, would equal 500. When we do our subtraction here, we find that we still need to separate 286 into groups of 5. A reminder, we've already taken out 100 groups. Again, we're going to capitalize on our great multiplication skills. And we know 5 times 5 equals 25. So 5 times 50 must equal 10 times that, 250. We can then take out 250 or 50 groups of 5 from 286. When we subtract, we find that we are left with 36 remaining items that we want to separate into groups of 5. We've already taken out 150 groups of 5 which would equal 500 plus 250, 750, okay? And we have 36 more items that we want to take out. Well, here's a basic multiplication In fact. We know that 5 times 7 equals 35. And when we subtract, we're left with 1, okay? Now, reminder, this is the groups that we've taken out. We want to add these up. So we have 100 plus 50 plus 7. That would be 157 groups that we've taken out. And we still have this one guy hanging out here. This is going to be our remainder. We have a remainder of 1. We cannot break that 1 up into any more groups of 5. So therefore, it's left over. In this case, becomes our remainder 1. What we've demonstrated here, that 786 divided by 5 equals 157. Remainder one. We can check this by doing a multiplication problem of 157 times 5 plus our remainder 1, and you will get our original dividend to 786. I hope that helps clarify some of the partial quotient division questions.